Jamie in Seattle writes to me, he says, Hi, Paul. I'd like you to help settle an argument. Oh, boy. My buddy said his 1970s high-end amp had 35 quality watts per channel, and my box store run-of-the-mill, a dime a dozen cheapo amp specked out at 35 watts per channel, was garbage. Mm -hmm. Assuming a <laughs> little one-upsmanship there, huh? Assuming each amp does have 35 watts a channel, per some predefined measurement standard, would my buddy's 35 watt channel sound better than mine? Um, same speakers, same preamp. In other words, is a watt a watt? A watt no matter what brand and thus would sound the same. Okay, well, <laughs> let's, let's unpack that because there's a whole bunch of questions right there. First off, amps do not sound the same. So your friend's quality watt could very well sound better than your, what did you call it? Uh, dime a dozen, run of the mill watts probably does not sound as good. And that's just a reality. I mean, it's why we have spent the last 50 years working on elevating the design of power amplifiers so that each generation gets better and better. You take one of our, we don't make 35 watt power amps, but you take one of our bigger amps or smaller amps and you compare the sound of that to one that we designed 50 years ago, 40 years ago, there's a huge difference. Same number of watts, very big difference in sound. And that all has to do with the design of the amplifier because design matters. Design and preamplifiers and digital audio, all of it matters. And even if they spec the same, they do not sound the same. Now, one thing I would want to qualify here, because I hate to see you just lose the bet. For a long time, run-of-the-mill dime uh, per dozen <laughs> um, amplifiers kind of cheated on their wattage ratings. So they would use like what we call peak wattage ratings and really their RMS wattage rating was quite a bit lower. I don't think that's probably the case. The reason is the, the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, many, many years ago started specking how an amplifier was uh, specced. And I don't remember the exact FTC spec, but if you're going to say it's a 100 watt amplifier, it has to be able to do, what is it, uh, one eighth power, one quarter power. There, there's some smaller amount of power that it has to be able to do, I think, for like one hour. I and mean, this has been years, so I don't remember what the spec is. But the FTC definitely specs it. So what they're trying to do is say, okay, if you're going to say it's 100 watts, then it has to be able to do this level of performance all day long without overheating or shutting off. And I don't think they pay any attention to it anymore. But most people, most companies today, it's so easy to make an amplifier. I mean, it's just, you don't have to cheat anymore. So your 35 watts are probably exactly the same as your friend's 35 watts, but sound-wise, nah, sorry. Nope. All right. Sorry if you lost the bet. <laughs> Thanks for watching <laughs> and take it easy.